Hey guys, my name is Kenny. These might be the best white sneakers that you can buy for under $100. So these shoes are from DSW and they come in this box. The brand of the shoe is Mercanti Fiorentini, and it's a brand that I haven't heard of and you guys probably haven't either. All I know is, is that I saw these on DSW and I saw that they had really good reviews so I got them. These shoes are only $70 and they look just like the higher end shoes that cost around $200. On DSW it does say that these shoes are leather, but I don't expect it to be the high end leather that you get from other shoes. But this is also not fake leather. You'll find fake leather in other shoes such as Zara or H&M, and those usually cost around $30 or $40, and that fake leather is what brings the price down. Those shoes are more likely to break or fall apart much sooner. Since these are leather, I expect them to last much longer than the Zara shoes. In terms of price, these fall right in the middle. At the bottom over here, you have the Zara and H&M shoes that are around $30 or $40, and then you have these in the middle at $70 along with the Stan Smiths that cost around $80. And then you get to the higher end shoes such as Coils and Artisan Lab. Like I said, this is in the same price range as the all white Stan Smiths. And I was actually going to purchase those before I found these. When I went online, I was looking for all white sneakers that look similar to the common projects. I knew I didn't want to spend a ton of money, but I also wanted it to be real leather. I looked at the Stan Smiths and I found out they had an all white pair, which I never knew they had. The most common one has the green accent on the back heel. The problem that I had with the Stan Smiths is that they were too casual. Even the tongue itself for the Stan Smiths were way too long. When you look at common projects or other shoes just like that, they have a very clean silhouette. Those are shoes that you can dress up or down. You can definitely dress up the Stan Smiths to a certain extent, but I just didn't like how they looked with formal clothing. And I think that just comes down to personal preference. I was definitely set on buying those, but then I did one quick search just to see if I could find anything else. And that's when these popped up on Google. These have a very similar silhouette to the higher end shoes, which is what I love about them. I wanted something that looks just like this, and I made sure that the tongue wasn't too big either. What some people might not like is that the sole is a slightly different white than the top. It's more of an off-white, but that's not something that I really care about. In terms of sizing, I'm usually an 8.5 to a 9, but they didn't have the 9, so I went with the 8.5 and they ended up fitting perfectly. As for the inside of the shoe, the entire lining is leather. And under the tongue, it says made in Brazil, if you actually care about what country these shoes are made in. In terms of comfort, yes, these shoes are pretty comfortable, but don't expect crazy comfort like you would find in higher end brands. The only problem that I was having is that the left shoe was bothering me in this area. And that didn't happen to me in the right shoe, but I expect it to go away the more I wear it. There are other shoes in this price point similar to this, but I believe this is the closest you'll get to higher end brands in terms of quality, fit, and looks. I'm definitely going to do another review once I've worn these for a few months. I'm going to leave a link to these shoes down below so you can check them out. And you should definitely read all the positive reviews about these shoes before you buy them. Let me know if you have any questions about these shoes. Like this video if I helped you out, and subscribe for more videos just like this.